Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to gut this distributor and install a VMS delete plate, part of a coil on plug conversion project that I, I already wrote about. You may have already read it. If not, I'll share a link in the description. Uh, but let's just get to turning screws and talking about why we're doing this. Okay, this is a regular Acura Integra GSR distributor for B18C1 that is going in the CRX. CRX already has a coil on plug conversion, so I can just slap this in. I already have the harness in there and it works, but we're going to gut it, remove the ignition coils and everything so that, well, one, I just like to remove extra stuff from race cars that's not needed anymore. And I wanna install this delete plate. This is from VMS Racing. I'll include a link below. Um, it's so that you don't have these electrified contacts with the distributor in there spinning. It's just a bad idea. So uh, let's void this warranty. Now, if you've ever replaced a cap and rotor, we're doing that same stuff. Remove the screw. I'm not being very gentle with this because all this is going in the trash. Oh, look at that. Warranty void if removed. So in a coil on plug conversion, all we are using this distributor for is the cam, uh, cam position sensor. We don't care about all this other stuff. And we certainly don't need spinning moving parts sending spark to nowhere. So we're gonna remove this. This whole thing can go. We can unplug there. Saving ourselves major ounces here. Now, this looks like a ground cable, but it actually is the positive for the coil here. So we're definitely not gonna leave that hanging around. Not that we would even if it was ground, but even more so. So I'm throwing some heat shrink on here using a Ryobi heat gun. Now that's probably fine, but I always get paranoid on all things electrical, so just to be sure, I'm gonna throw tape over the end of it. Anyways. So, with the coil out, we can put the plate on. This is the VMS plate again. It comes with these hex screws. And uh, if you're actually doing this project, by now you've probably turned off the video because the rest is super obvious, like you know how to put this back together. Uh, I will mention that these are metric screws, which is good. I hate when something comes with standard American screws, when I, then I have to put it into a Japanese car that's all metric, and then there's just these random few things in the car that are not metric. Well, you don't have to worry about that here. So there you have it, deleted ignition coil, sparky coil. I'll probably add a comment overriding this when I realize it's not the right term. And no exposed contacts, most importantly. 
So there you have it. This is ready to install. If you're interested in doing a coil on plug conversion for your B series, uh, we are selling the harnesses on aerace.com. I have a full write up on hoelgera.com. I'll include a link in the description on how to do the write up is on how to actually do the coil on plug conversion using the AE race harness. And then you just follow what we just did here with the delete plate. I will have a full video later on a full front to back coil unplug conversion when I do it on the turbo CRV. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.